All right, in the last section, we did chapter 1-7. We did perimeter, perimeter of a square, meaning you added up all the sides, or the <coughs> perimeter of a circle, which is called the circumference, one side using the formula C equals pi times A. So for the next section, we will be moving on to area. Now, Area is going to be the space that is inside a shape. So for us, some basic shapes are the square. We're going to call this the height. We're going to call this the base. The area equals base times height. I'm sure you've done this before. Area equals B times H. For instance, let's give this base a number. Four, let's give this height a number. 3, let's call it centimeters and centimeters. So for this one, our example would be the area is going to be 3 centimeters times 4 centimeters. Now, what you have to know is the units have to go with it. So, area is going to be 3 times 4, which is going to be 12. But what about the centimeters? We also have to multiply the centimeters. What's a centimeter times a centimeter? Centimeter squared. So the final answer for this one is the area is base times height, which is 4 times 3. 4 centimeters times 3 centimeters. 3 times 4 is 12. Centimeter times centimeter is 12 centimeters squared. All right. So what about a circle? I like this part because this is where I get to tell my favorite dumb joke. Here's the radius of a circle and area equals pi times the radius squared. Let's just give this one an example. Let's just say this one happens to be 4. So here our area is pi times 4 squared, substituting 4 in for the radius. I'm doing this again. Area equals 3.14 times 16. We'll go ahead and multiply it out. And area equals, let's go ahead and do the math, 3.14. 3.14 times 16 equals 50.24. But they says we need to round to the nearest tenth, 50.24. Here's the tenth. This is the next number. Since it is less than 5, we're just going to erase it. Rounds back down to 2. Now, 50.2 what? In this case, if the radius is 4 centimeters, then that is 4 centimeters squared. So I'm going to write this out differently. This is 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters. So this 16 is not just the number 16, it is 4 times 4, and it is centimeters times centimeters. So this is 16 centimeters squared. So this final answer is in centimeters squared. Okay, what if we have to take the area of a circle when you're only given the diameter, for instance? Here we have a circle, and in this case, the diameter equals 8. Well, you're going to have to find the radius. In this case, the radius equals 1 half times the diameter. In this case, the radius is going to be 1 half times 8, which is going to be 4. Ah. So what we actually have here is the same problem. You just have to remember that the diameter is our two different things. So what if you have a shape that is a perfect rectangle, base times height. If you give you the radius, area is pi times the radius squared. If they give you the diameter, first you divide the diameter in half, then you would follow through by using this formula for the radius. That's great. What if you get a shape that looks like this? That's not a circle, and it's not a rectangle. 
how are we going to solve this? Well, let's just go ahead and put some numbers on here. Let's call this 3. Let's call this 3. Let's call this 5. And let's call this 2. We're going to call these all centimeters. 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 Now, what do we do here? You can't just simply take the base times the height. So we have to think of this problem as being a composite. So here's one. You can think of this problem. I'm going to draw it small. In the method one, you could say it really looks like this, which is a big square minus a little bitty piece like this. That. It's the whole square minus this little piece equals that. Or the second way to go about it is to break it into small pieces. So here's another way. You could say that if you take this, you add another little piece on top, you get this. So you can say, all right, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to call this this piece, call it A, and this piece B. And then I'll do the area of this and the area of this, and then I can add them together. So let's just go ahead and do it this way right here, number two. So what would be the area of the square, this A? And we're going to call it area of A is going to be 3 centimeters, just this shape here, times 3 centimeters is 9 centimeters squared. What about this? Well, this happens to be, this is 3, and this is 5, you know that this is 2. But this one here, B, just happens to be 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters, which is 4 centimeters squared. We're going to add these together. We're going to say this right here is 9 centimeters squared. This is 4 centimeters squared. 9 plus 4, grand total, 13 centimeters squared.